thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. So today I'm going to show you my original song Kyoto and I have several lessons my original music on my guitar wisdom. So this is a uh, dedicate for you know as a supplement lesson so that my subscriber of guitar wisdom can learn more. So in order to play melody, understand uh, improvisation, first you have to know the chord progression. That's where a uh, problem is um, very easy to get the backing track or just um, you know it's a little different age is that everything so much available then uh, which is nice but you miss out to make effort to make own backing track like that simple one and even keeping groove really hard to do not easy to do and understand harmony chords by ear not just by shape or visual aspect of guitar playing so so this song I wrote this a long time ago. I think I wrote this as 1999, okay? Thinking about Kyoto, like a fall, you know, really cold. That's why it's minor. That presents winter. Key of C minor. Just open the door to four minor. Look around. Five chord. <laughs> Back to the door. C minor. So the intro I made simple. I just I want to make. kind of bluesy. Today, this lesson is not my melody, it's about chords, so you know, uh, I don't want to get into too much about melody, okay? But melody has minor third of F minor, major third of G. Like that. Okay. So the, all the details, obviously, you can watch my guitar wisdom. Lesson is, what's the lesson? TFO. TFO L02, I believe. Part 1, you know. The chord progression. Okay. So you watch that, more details, so that you see uh, string numbers, fingerings, details. Okay. I don't use a tablature because tablature not really help. Uh, like make a good musician. I mean, you know You can do many different way. So this way First chord the beginning I play like this, you know, F minor 7 Or minor 9 So as you know root flat 3 flat 7 9 Or minor So this one it's a full minor That's a simple G7, but then G7 flat 13. So you have root flat 7, major third flat 13, C minor 7. Simple one, 1, 5, flat 7, flat 35. Always degrees important. So up to here, like. Then important part is see, strumming. Just lightly. Sometimes I use like my pinky emphasize flat seven. Just the beginning, play minor seven, then minor nine. So that like that. I get into a little bit more detail, but and 
in a separate separate lesson I teach dominant seventh and using flat nine flat thirteen then use the diminished chord. So this case B diminish D diminish F diminish four different diminish and then B if we play B diminish you have a third seven flat nine fifth if you use a D diminish fifth flat nine third seven so that again the details of that lesson so you see the beginning is really four minor five one Sharp 9, flat 9, Any, anywhere you can play flat 13 and relate to sharp 9, flat 9, that's jazz harmony, like standards, you know, very important. But if you learn each step, there is no magic to it. Jazz, people think difficult. Rock is difficult too. How to play simple, it's difficult to do. It's just a little different, different, you know. So, um, so now, repeat twice, then C minor, but if you keep repeating same thing over and over, which is good, but I want to go somewhere different, so now, C, then C7, so this dominant, I'm just, I'm just guy a little bit, see, flat 13, flat 9, So my song has a little bit of element of blues, funk, and a little bit jazz. So this case, this part become a little jazz. So like a dramatic, go to C7. Then F minor again, but the function is slightly different. See, this is like, uh, you know, um, song analysis I have been doing any great song always mixing major key and minor key this case mixing C minor minor key relatively major which is E flat so this case almost autumn leaves so now here this one you want to play minor seventh just because melody has really strong minor third sound. Then this one 13 to make a little jazzy. Major 7 or major 9. Then here, so 13 I play root flat 7 major third or 13 or major 9. So this is like um, jazz fusion, you know, uh, a lot of song has Feel Like Making Love has this, I think maybe that's the influence. So the half step down to four. So this is the four chord, but if you stay a long time, it sounds like another key. That's why I sustained it a bit. So, tune up a little bit so yeah that's G sus4 because when I was writing song I could have just G7 G G7 flat 13 like that because I want to go back to C minor but I realized wait a minute I don't have a song that I use a lot sus4 sometimes just like a cooking well I don't use ginger why not use ginger here so that's how I make um, 
my uh, food. <laughs> I like ginger. Yeah, so. So here, like a ginger. So like. Uh, again, this is half step down to back to C minor. So, like e each chord, I want to really feel what what are these. Don't just count one four five, one six two five, all the numbers because that's too easy. Because if you think number system too much, then you don't really appreciate the song. You know, you have to. To me, number system is one way to understand the chords. A uh, little bit clearly, but not really deep way, because then you analyze too quickly. Do you know? So like that. Then see sus four. Then sub five. Now sub five. Tension is always 9, 13, sharp 11. Because it sounds good. C minor, C minor key, watch here. Like a city pop, you know, 2 5 into A flat. So this song almost like, you know, camouflage to 2 5 to go to A, a flat, but really flat 6. So I know that was A flat, almost like you know, acting like one, but then same time flat six. That's why my song built, based on many great songs. Like I am, Tomo Fujita, born between, from my parents. I'm not exist without my parents. Song never exists without the parents. Some, something about, you know, a harmony of relationship in the past go through the body and become original. So, Kyoto. Makes sense? I'm from Kyoto. Then now, if you like finger picking, Privateness or something. Let's um, wrap up and I can repeat again if you want to do more details. So please comment here which part did you like, which part would you like to me to expand more. And please watch watch TFO LO2. <laughs> okay? That's the one. Every detail about each course. So you know make sure you So let me play slowly for it. Simple.
So, I want to uh, make sure you understand this. You want, so like if you go to uh, iTunes or anywhere, you wanna you know understand this. This is really important. This is the original track, pure. Probably people don't listen CD, so maybe go to Spotify. But make sure version from Pure, okay? This played by me, Steve Gadd, Will Lee. So if you see who plays there, can you read that? Three drummers, Steve Gadd, Bernard Party, Steve Jordan. Three songs each. And this is how I uh, record it. Exactly. Funny, I tried to change the song, song uh, order. This is exactly I recorded. Exactly took one year. Actually, exactly one year. Yeah. So anyway, I'm proud of this because amazing musician that I could play with. And plus, uh, let's see if I have a book here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Maybe. So, um... Rito Music uh, sell this. Um, so as you see, like it, you know, it's it, it's written in Japanese, but only one one two pages, very very basic uh, idea that written in Japanese, but not really important mm. to understand. Because this song, this is mostly um, like what what can I say? It's like can you read? See, mostly, this is a songbook, really. Solo guitar. Come with a CD, regular notation, and just in, you know, uh, just in case, tablature, this one, just because of Rito music, they have to sell this one, you know, so, yeah. When, when you sell things, you have to have a tablature, you know, but um, I do more education, so my website don't have a tablature, but we have a spe special way to explain but so this is Kyoto you know so this one has all you know backing you know idea and triads and all that you know I, I, th I think I, I should do triads too yeah and today I'm playing this kanji guitar kanji guitar from kanji you know by kanji kawabata kind of cool right I have three different pickup set. One is only middle. One is on. Oh, actually, four different pickup set. Only offset, only center, and regular one. And this, this one, it's more like a you know music master style you know placement. Little bit brighter. And here. Too much to explain. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita music. This is so much fun because just teach you my original music. You know, easy, difficult. It's just fun. So much fun. Thank you so much. So um, if you like my channel, please subscribe Tomoshita music, and uh, I will make more and more. Um, let's listen together series, and more gear demo because I want to show you a lot of great instrument, guitar, amp effects and all that. And this one, it's a new one. I don't know what to call, but this is really a supple supplement lesson for Guitar Wisdom subscribers because I really appreciate a lot of uh, people effort to study at my Guitar Wisdom and I have so, you know, so many people really enjoy 
without a towel chair, you know. <laughs> and then takes about for a while, but a lot of people change, which is really nice. So if you study, if you wanna study more, please join Guitar Wisdom. That's the key. All right, thank you so much, and see you soon. Thank you.